Before discussing TCP and how it provides transport layer reliable data transfer over the network layer best effort delivery, let's discuss different mechanisms of reliable data transfer. This will help us better understand the decisions made in the design of the TCP. The network layer of the internet provides delivery of packets in a best effort way. This means the packets might be lost and never delivered, or they might be delivered in different order than sent. However, applications, as we discussed, may need to ensure reliable and in order delivery. For example, when you want to download a file using a file transfer application, you do not want a portion of the file you ask for. You also do not want it to be presented to you in any different way. You need to know that the file is delivered to you properly, and therefore the file transfer application needs to ensure reliable data transfer. Our goal in this part of the discussion is to get a clear understanding of the mechanisms that we can use for reliable delivery of data over an unreliable channel. Using these mechanisms, we want to implement a reliable channel in the transport layer. This reliable channel will be built on top of an unreliable channel. Characteristics of the unreliable channel will decide the complexity of the protocol. We will refer to the reliable data transfer process that we want to implement as RDT and discuss this process using definition of four main functions. RDT send, which is called by the application layer to do a reliable transfer of data to the receiver. UDT send, which is called by the RDT to transfer packet over unreliable channel to the receiver. RDT receive, which is called when packet arrives on the receiver side of the channel and deliver data which is called by RDT to deliver the data to the application layer. To understand the needs of reliable data transfer, we will incrementally develop sender and receiver sides of what we need for reliable data transfer. We will discuss this for unidirectional data transfer, but control info will flow on both directions. The concepts will be applicable to bidirectional transfer as well. We will use finite state machines to specify sender and receiver events, actions, and states. The figure shows an example finite state machine, or FSM. The change from one state to another is called a transition. A transition is caused by an event, and some actions are associated with the transition. 